Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about ear aches, right? Ear aches, ear pain, so there's a wide range of causes, uh, reasons why people have pain in their ear. Um, obviously a lot of times we initially think about ear infections, uh, especially for, for younger ones. Uh, and then there's other reasons too. It could be a musculoskeletal condition. Some patients with fibromyalgia have a lot of ear pain. People with TMJ, temporal mandibular joint pain can actually radiate into the ear. Uh, sometimes people with uh, inner ear conditions like Meniere's disease, vertigo, um, stuff like that can actually have built up pressure inside the ear that can create um, uh, ear pain. Now, um, at the Upper Cervical Spine Center, we have been able to help a lot of people with a wide range of ear aches and ear pains. Uh, in the case of ear and chronic ear infections, whether it's a child or an adult, um, what happens is, is the ear doesn't properly drain like it should. So the fluid stays in there and the fluid actually uh, becomes kind of a breeding ground uh, for bacteria to grow. And uh, a lot, there's a, a, a muscle that controls that tube and allows it to actually open up and close and to drain properly. And what we found is that the nerves that come off the upper part of the neck that go up and, and innervate that ear control that valve. And if the valve never completely opens all the way so it can drain, then you have a reoccurring uh, a regrowth of bacteria. That's why you take an antibiotic, it might kill the bacteria, but if you leave the water, the fluid there, it becomes stagnant and left alone, again, it'll just attract more bacteria, which will continue to grow. And in kids, what will happen is, uh, you know, when they do the, 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 uh, the surgery, they open it up and that allows that fluid to drain, um, but now they have a hole in their ear. As to where if you could just allow that valve to open as it's intended, then the fluid would drain naturally and you wouldn't have the reoccurring uh, bacterial infection in the, uh, the ear infection. Um, now with Meniere's disease, uh, it's basically the inner ear, the nerves that go and supply the vestibular cochlear nerve, which is balance and hearing. Uh, it changes uh, the message from the ear to the brain. In that case, it's not so much that there's something wrong with the ear, but actually the message between the ear so the brain gets distorted telling the brain there's something wrong. So if you can find that and open it up, then it increases the, uh, uh, it takes away the, the pain along with oftentimes the dizziness and the ringing in ears and even loss of hearing um, because it normalizes the message from the ear to the brain. TMJ, if there's uh, if the joint here where the TMJ joint is, if it gets loose or gets unhealthy, what will happen is the joint will actually fall down out of the socket a little bit and it will start to wear abnormally and that stretches the muscles, the ligaments, everything around this joint. We can actually pull on the ear, create pain in the ear, increased pressure because it's pulling on the tube. So there's a lot of things that can be associated. Fibromyalgia, that's a lot of the muscle and ligament and, and tendons become very hard and fibrous and they don't move like they want to, like they're designed to and can pull on the ear and create a lot of pressure inside the ear which can result in ear pain. So there's several different conditions that can be related. What we have found is most of the time uh, it's related to a bone being out of line on the top of the neck improper or interference to normal nerve flow to the ear or from the ear to the brain and if we can find that and we can remove it then the body starts to normalize and the body can heal and the ear aches the ear pains can heal as well so if you have any type of earache, ear pain, or ear inner, any type of ear problem, uh, you owe it to yourself to get this area checked. It's so closely related. It's right under the ear. There's very likely a problem here that's affecting that inner ear. So find an upper cervical doctor near you uh, and let them check it out. Now, if you live in the Charlotte area, uh, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, uh, uh, Pineville, Matthew, uh, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley, Gastonia, we are the upper cervical doctor for you. Call our office. We never charge for the initial consultation to see what might be causing your ear pain. If it's something we can help you with, we'll explain to you and explain to you exactly what we need to do. If it's not, then we'll try to find another specialist that we believe can help you. Either way, that initial consult does not cost you anything. If we have work to do, if we can help you, we'll explain to you what it will cost going further, but the initial consultation is nothing. So give our office a call, 704-588-5560. Let's get you in. Let's see exactly what it is that may be causing your ear aches or your ear pain, and let's get to the bottom of it and see if we can't get it corrected. All right, hope you have a great afternoon. We look forward to meeting you soon. Bye-bye.